Hello guys, welcome back to Free Reacts. I have a wonderful day today. We're going to be reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 6 episode 16. This episode is called Hell's Bells. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. It's hideous. Oh my god, Buffy. Look at its arms. What are you wearing? I'm wearing? Buffy the bridesmaid. Duty, moody. I'm supposed to be this man. I mean, she was a, a vengeance demon for like a thousand years. She would know all the most flattering, are they? God, last night, the rehearsal dinner. That was like a, a zoo without the table manners. Okay, we didn't get to see the rehearsal dinner. Like, seriously. Are you kidding me? That would have been so much fun. And I bet it got worse after we left. I just can't believe everyone bought that story about Anya's people being circus folk. Are they gonna skip the whole wedding and we're not gonna see it? So they won't cast Xander's family? Mr. Harris threw up in my purse. Oh. You guys look so beautiful. <laughs> Don't ever tell you how that was my idea. Excuse me, coming through. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good. Xander, you're not uh, ready yet. Look at my hair. <laughs> his father? Close, it doesn't really matter. They would cast his father. I won't actually be in any of the pictures. You'll be in the pictures, Mom. Being circus folks is suddenly heritage now. I mean no disrespect. Oh, his dad is toxic AF. Respect, of course. I'm sure you come from a long, proud line of geeks. This wedding is going to be chaotic. Look at you. Oh, my you God. great. Mr. About I feel like a married. proud mama. You're glowing. Oh, yes, he is. Oh my god. Maybe you're pregnant. <laughs> Maybe. And he's nervous too. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. Teary. Oh, good. Good, Teary. Just seeing her best friend getting married. You and Anya give me hope. It's like you two are proof that there's light at the end of this very exactly. long, long, nasty tunnel. Uh, Where's Giles? Giles. Giles is supposed to be the best man. There's no way he wouldn't have come back from England for onions and his wedding. Come on. Want me to hold it shut for you? Oh, okay. To cherish you, to honor you, uh, but not to obey you, of course, because that's <laughs> anachronistic and misogynistic. And who do you think you are? Like a sea captain or something? <laughs> Take care of my heart, won't you please? Oh. Take care of it because it's all that I have. And if you let me, I'll take care of your heart, too. Oh. Give me have a look. Wow. I want to have a look, lovely, too. Really. Lovely. Come on. Thanks. It's probably oh. the blush of imprudent spending. Oh. Okay, no look sex. Look at that back, babe. <laughs> Guess who would just be... Just hope that no one is going to ruin this day, please. See my date for tonight. Uh, look at Dawn. She looks so cute. Pretty... Who's that? It was my trade. Oh, the I uncle? Wait, is he things. the uncle? Who are those people? Hyman's oh, greetings. Hi, what? Hyman, the god of matrimony. His salutary. Is he the one who turned uh, <laughs> Anya to, to a vengeance demon? Right? Is he the you. one? May the love we celebrate today avoid an almost inevitable decline. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. God, what the hell? So, Donnie, how's everything? Don't Going wish good? anything. Nothing you um, nothing you wish was different. No. Who is he with? It's fine. Who is she? I want you to meet the date. The date? Uh, hi, I'm John. Uh huh. You think the children should be raised in ignorance of our ways? No. Right. No, the Harrises are very broad-minded. We're Episcopalians. Oh. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> now, let's go over the list one more time. Number one. Don't let your dad near the bar. Check. Number two. No, so he's already in the bar. In the bar. Hey, I saw him shove his tongue. Spike brought a date? Yeah. Are we, Wait, are we getting here. jealous? You can do that. Then there, you can do that. You can totally do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really, you need to talk to you. Xander, no. honey, listen to Xander, me. Xander, one of Anya's presents got loose. Please, please, you have to, hey. you have to listen to me. Stop. You can't get married today. 
Get lost. Help me here. Uncle. I'm Xander Harris. I'm you. Don't tell me it's future Xander Harris traveling back in time to warn Xander not to get married. Because no way in hell. I found my way back to warn you, to tell you. Hey, hey, to hey, hey, easy, easy. To my wife. What would I do without you, beautiful? Well, for starters, I probably wouldn't need to drink so much, would I? <laughs> Does this jerk ever shut up? Exactly. You're starting to make my suckers ah, twitch. And a toast. <laughs> I paid for all this. You want me to sit down? You cough up a couple of grand, Squidly. Would you His call His dad me is the worst. Oh my god. What's this? I really wanted to meet Xander's dad, but now I take it back. I have a clear idea now and I don't need him on my screen. Look at it. You'll see what I've seen. Feel what I've felt. Anya! You going out again? Well, one of us has to make some money. Well, what do you want me to do, Anya, huh? I can't work, my back's shot. You had no business fighting demons with her. Buffy needed me. Well, it didn't save her, did it? All it did was ruin our lives. What the hell? I'm just saying, maybe you should talk to your daughter. Oh, I hate you guys. And I know that you're not my real dad, and I hate you. I hate you both. I wish you oh, died. Oh, she slept with a demon? This sucks. You're so unhappy, why didn't you just leave? I wanted to. You wouldn't come near me after Buffy died. Don't bring her into Buffy this! Buffy died Fine, or something? Forget her. Maybe you were just born to be a bitter, angry old man. If I hadn't married you, I wouldn't have had to hate myself for the last 30 years! <laughs> Is this real? Like, is this legit? You can change things. What the fuck? It doesn't have to go like this. But you can't marry Anya. But you hurt her less today than you will later. Believe me. Hey. It's a happy occasion. I wasn't sure that these two are gonna talk after, you know, the last episode. You meet my friend. She seems like a... Very nice attempt at making me jealous. Is it working, yeah? Is it working? A little. <laughs> God, this is hard. Yeah. It's nice to watch you be happy. For them, even. I don't see it a lot. You, uh... You glow. <gasps> oh! That's because the dress is radioactive. You're getting married. Little Xander. All grown up. It's a good thing I realized I was gay. Otherwise, hey, you, me, and four more. Ah, uh, Zen is going a lot through a lot you know right I now. About half as much as I love you. The music. They're playing the music. This is it. I'm so fucking nervous right now. He's gone. Xander disappeared. Oh god, I had a feeling. For the last time. I, Anya, want to marry you, Xander. Because I love you. And you knew me. You saw me. And it was this thing. You make me feel safe and warm. So, I get it now. I finally get love, Xander. Just rip my really heart out, do. like seriously. No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Beautiful. Shut up. My family is <laughs> The cutest is worse. demon ever. <laughs> No way. Mine is so messed up, you have no idea. Now, just wait until you see my mom dance at the reception, okay? And then tell me who is messed up. <laughs> Everybody's pretty Donnie! First, first word. First word. One, one word. One word. Animal. No. Nobody knows this. No. Out of the room, he took off and no one can find him. <gasps> what? Um, what do you mean Xander's missing? You better think real hard about this, Harris. Don't touch me with those nasty circus things. That's it! Oh, God, 
that's it. Like, can you blame the guy? Can you really blame him? This is like a Game of Thrones wedding. Oh, Has anyone seen Xander? Well, I saw him going to the trophy room with that guy. No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. If you said something to make him leave... You what? Haven't changed a bit. Still as vindictive as ever. Wait, he's not future Xander! Who are you? Remember Chicago? Southside, 1914. Story So... It wasn't even real? I punished you. That's right. Some hussy I've been taking around summons you. Next thing I know, I look like this and I'm being tortured in another dimension. And every day I thought how I would somehow get here and ruin your life like you ruined mine. It didn't take much either. I scared off your fiance with a couple of phony visions. Yes, it didn't take that much, <laughs> I think, because deep down, this is what he was scared of, you know? And it didn't take that much convincing for him to leave. Oh, cry, Anyaka, cry. I love to see you cry. And now, I love to see you scream. <gasps> Buffy! Anya! He, he went back. Oh, thank God, he went back. I'm so glad you're here. It was all eyes. Well, what he showed you, it wasn't true. He just wanted to break us up. It doesn't matter now. Okay. How dare you ruin my wedding day? Yes, thank you, Zander. Can, can we carry on with the wedding now? I'm not paying for this, you freaks! I'm, I'm sure he didn't pay fucking thing. Oh my god, this man. Oh, it looks like there's a wedding this episode. Stop it! I mean, this wedding will go on to get back. Seats. Tell them, Anya. We're ready now. Let's get married. I, I... Oh my god... I'm not... I'm not ready. I can't, Anna. I'm sorry. But it, was, it wasn't real. What he showed you, it wasn't real. I know it wasn't real, but it could be. I had these thoughts and fears before this. Maybe we just went too fast. He shouldn't have invited him, his parents, to be honest, like seriously. He shouldn't have invited his parents. We can't start over. If this is a mistake, it's forever, and I don't want to hurt you. Oh, Anya. Oh no, she's gonna walk alone. Should we do something for her? Anything? She wants to be alone. They were supposed to be my light at the end of the tunnel. Guess they were a train. I feel like I should be hating Xander. But I can't. I just hope he's okay. Xander really is his own worst enemy. Poor Anya, oh my god, I must be so devastated. I can't, I can't imagine. He left her at the altar. What are you doing? When you were a vengeance demon, you were powerful. At the top of your game, you crushed men like him. It's time you got back to what you do best. Don't you think? Are you re- Oh my god. What an episode, man. What the hell? I- I have no words. Though I didn't expect that his backstory is gonna go back and sabotage his life with Anya. I do admit, though, it sucks, but this is extremely in the line with his character. Like, I hate it, but like, I get it sort of thing. But like, Zender and Anya were the only couple that I was sure of in this show. But man, like, Joss Whedon did what he does best. He gives you hope for something, he instantly takes it away from you. You know, like, this is the only time we've seen his family, like, this is the only time 
his home life has been addressed directly in the show. And you can tell he is ex Xander is extremely repressed. His insecurities manifest as anxiety. But the thing is, he was having these thoughts like for a while now. And he kept dismissing them until he was confronted with it. Like, we had an idea how his family was, how his dad in particular was, and we knew that he didn't want to do anything with them, and, and he didn't want to end up being like his father, an abusive, drunk Batman. He should have said something a long time ago. I don't know, he could have, have believed in them more than he believed in his fears. The fact that he left her at the altar, he didn't even go to announce to everyone that the wedding was off. And he l left Anya to face them alone. Like, he should have had faced his insecurities before the wedding, man. Or maybe he could have went with the wedding, believe in them. I don't know, try to work his life out, go to therapy, like, get some help. I don't know. Like, I understand not wanting to follow in your parents' footsteps. But this should have served as a warning of what not to do and what not to become. Not to just accept it as inevitable, you know? You know, the thing that's going to stop you from being someone that you hate is yourself. Instead of Xander breaking the cycle of his abusive father, believing one day that he could become him means that he accepted the fact that he would eventually become him, you know? Self-sabotage is a bitch. The thing that really bugs me is that I think if Giles was there, Xander wouldn't run off because looking back at the episode, Xander was alone, you know? Yes, Buffy was there to help him from time to time, but like most of the time he was alone with himself, just panicking. He had nothing to do but think about how horrible his family is and how scared he is to be like them. So if Giles was there, he would have been there to distract him from his fears and remind him of his responsibilities, you know, as a man. So yeah, if only Giles was there. Anyway, that was a good wedding. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next video.